Mexico, 800 kilometers from the point of impact. The very first landmass to feel the force of the asteroid strike. A region that has suffered wave upon wave of violence. Yet even here, even now, life remains. The last surviving Alamosaurus egg. Buried safe within the soil, a chick has survived the barrage of destruction. And he's not alone. All around the world, Small handfuls of dinosaurs try to start over. But inbreeding and disease weaken their tiny populations. Eventually, the huge numbers of dinosaurs that had ruled the world are reduced to a single solitary dinosaur. Then it too is gone. And with it, a dynasty that had ruled the Earth for 160 million years. But dinosaurs weren't the only animals on the planet. There were other humbler life forms that had lived in the dinosaur's shadow for a very long time. When floods and firestorms hit, they found shelter underground. Some hid deep inside trees and plants. Others took refuge beneath the soil. And small mammals like Masagma survived by scampering into burrows. Down here, they were protected from the worst the asteroid could throw at them. The Earth would be inherited by animals that were good at hiding. Fish were sheltered beneath the water. So were the aquatic reptiles. Birds, especially waterfowl, could survive by diving underwater or hiding in burrows. It would be years before all the sun's energy could reach the land again. But the heavy cloud slowly begins to clear. In the Gulf of Mexico, where the asteroid struck, a shallow crater can be seen. A tiny scar for such a fatal wound. Out of the ruins, nature starts over. Simple organisms like mold and fungus dominate the burned and rotting landscape. Then new growth emerges. And one plant in particular, ferns. Tough and resilient, they soon carpet the planet in green. It takes thousands of years for ferns to give way to forests, breathing oxygen and life into the planet again, and setting the stage for a new era. Because waiting in the wings are creatures whose development had long been thwarted by the dinosaurs, the mammals. Unlike the dinosaurs, the mammals are fast breeders, brilliant adapters. They multiply and diversify. Ten thousand species exploding across the planet. But it's millions of years before one very important species branches off from its relatives and comes down from the trees. They walk on two legs, evolve bigger brains, and eventually rule the planet, just as the dinosaurs once did. 
But unlike them, they'll reshape the world. Building cities that touch the sky. Vehicles that can leave the planet. And weapons that can destroy it. But none of it could have been possible if a chance collision in space 165 million years ago hadn't sent an asteroid hurtling toward Earth and doomed the dinosaurs to extinction. Only because they died can human beings live.